The New York World's Fair from the air is an unforgettable sight. A confection of architecture that blends the revolutionary with the traditional, the new with the timeless. The Unisphere, 12 stories high, is a worldwide symbol of the greatest exposition ever conceived by man. Africa is all our yesterdays, the yesterdays upon which these newly emerging nations are building their tomorrows. The host state of New York heads the list of 23 states that are participating in this showcase for the world. The pavilion's roof is the largest suspension type ever built, and the adjacent tower is the highest point at the fair. The fair is built of superlatives and statistics. It took a billion dollars to build this monument to progress. The Hong Kong Pavilion brings a colorful blend of its oriental European atmosphere to the international zone. With its upswept eaves, intense colors, and intricate carvings, it captures the spirit of Hong Kong architecture. The Venezuelan building houses important documents, those of Simon Bolivar, South America's liberator. From one broad avenue to the next, the very mood of the fair changes. Turn a corner, and you're in Japan, the Japan that became an industrial giant within the span of a short century. Surprise is a feature of the entire fair. There is so much to see. That's what makes Oasis like the Fountain of Planets so welcome. It's a place to relax as you dreamily watch the play of the waters. The Fountains of the Fairs is another of the 11 watery displays. Thatched roofs and plate glass. This is Guinea where the famed African Ballet presents regular performances, the art of Africa at its highest. In the industrial area, the corporation giants have turned showmen to stage some of the most spectacular displays ever presented. The Tower of Light pierces the heavens with a beam of 12 billion candle power. All religious faiths take part. The Mormons have built a replica of the Salt Lake City Tabernacle. The United States Pavilion has as its theme one endorsed by President Kennedy, challenge to greatness. Here you find the rich heritage of the nation's past, projected to the future, the never-ending pursuit of worldwide peace and freedom for all men. Mexico's history and art and other cultural achievements come alive. Newly born Malaysia makes an impressive debut on the world scene. Argentina and the romance of its pampas, the richness of its mines. Jordan shows historic documents on birth of the world's great religions. Photography. Never have so many snapshot artists been loose in one spot. On the roof of this building, you can photograph Aunt Tilly strolling on the moon. With 70 million people expected to throng the fair during its two-year run, each one of them is sure to find something to his taste. Interested in the historical culture of the islands of the Pacific, the Philippines Pavilion, the Polynesian fire dancers. The amusement area on the shores of Meadow Lake is the lighthearted side of the fair. Stage shows and rides, puppets and circus acts, a wax museum and a dancing fountain. Attractions from the four corners of the earth for thrills and entertainment. The French puppet show speaks an international language. Heroes and horrors of history. Ride the log flume for an unforgettable spine tingling thrill. In the amusement area, the familiar is blended with innovations. What more appropriate than that favorite of the ages, the circus, with its acrobats, clowns, and animals. History comes alive. Columbus conquered the Atlantic in the tiny Santa Maria. 
the languid romance of Hawaii, is all here. As our airborne camera dips and swerves over the Belgian pavilion, we see once more the great contrast in World's Fair architecture. Here is an 18th century walled Flemish town set down amid ultra-modern designs. Helicopters give you a view of the fair denied to groundlings. Just north of the fairgrounds, for example, you get a breathtaking eyeful of Shea Stadium, new home of the baseball Mets. Besides the sightseeing flights, helicopters fly to the fair from Manhattan and all New York airports, landing on the roof of the Port of New York Authority building, right in the heart of things. Dusk is approaching, and when darkness comes, the fairgrounds bloom magically into an unbelievable fantasy of lights, color, and music. The Tower of Light points its beam skywards to proclaim, here it is, man's monument to his achievements, his dreams of tomorrow. through understanding is the lofty theme of the fair. That it will be achieved lies in the dim corridors of tomorrow. Today, however, on the meadows of Flushing, a visitor sees what might be. Dozens of diverse cultures and peoples united in their hopes and dreams of a better world based on a true brotherhood of man. in its concept, the New York World's Fair stands as a mighty milestone of man's search for a world that should be.